Good evening, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jurnitor, evening headlines on January 28, 2023. George Santos latest news, DOJ, conducting criminal probe into congressman, as campaign financing comes into spotlight. The Independent, George Santos commemorates Holocaust after lying about it. New York Magazine, George Santos, U.S. congressman who lied about Jewish heritage, once praised Hitler. The Times of Israel, outraged voters petition speaker Kevin McCarthy to expel Representative George Santos over lies. CBS New York, George Santos wrote Facebook jokes about Hitler, the Jews, black people. It's all about stepping out of your comfort zone, 10 tips for solo travelers. Madison Brooks News, live, third rape suspect released as lawyers deny tests showing LSU student was drunk. The Independent, uni president accused of victim blaming after death of student Madison Brooks, 19. Express, third man charged with attacking LSU sorority girl Maddie Brooks, 19, has been released from jail. Daily Mail, family attorney for Madison Brooks speaks out. Fox 8 local first, Madison Brooks leaves bar with men accused of raping her in chilling footage before death. Trump News, live, Trump's secret donation to Arizona election audit revealed as he sets off on campaign trail. The Independent, Metarize new punishments for leaders who violate Instagram, Facebook rules. The Washington Post, Trump's return to Instagram and Facebook dooms Truth Social. Gulf Royals own more than £1 billion of UK property via tax havens. The Guardian, who owns what in London? Wealthy owners, January 28, 2023. Bloomberg, UK for sale, how the wealthy hold British property via offshore firms. The Guardian, John Lennon House and Lewis Hamilton Mansion on Offshore Ownership Register. The Guardian, Tory donors own UK properties via more than 150 offshore firms. Ty Nichols' death, haunting video of arrest is sickening indictment of policing that night in Memphis. Sky News, FMR, NYPD debt, Ty Nichols' video is toxic police culture manifest. MSNBC, Nichols' death reignites debate on police use of force. CNN, accountability uncharacteristically swift for police involved in Ty Nichols' death. MSNBC, the last thing, remembering Ty Nichols. Ukraine-Russia news, live, Putin's commanders, lying to hide true Makiyuka death toll. The Independent, Biden pledges American battalion tank Abrams for Ukraine IUS tank boost for Zelensky's forces. CNN News 18, how tanks from Germany, US and UK could change the Ukraine war. BBC, tanks for Ukraine, too little, too late is not good enough. The Hill, will tanks set up Ukraine for a spring offensive? Ty Nichols, body cam footage shows father of one calling for his mother as he is beaten by officers before his death. Sky News, video shows police beating and kicking Ty Nichols while he was restrained. BBC, Ty and Nichols, police officer laughs and smokes cigarette in disturbing body cam. The Independent, the killing of Ty and Nichols was heinous and shocking. It was also not an aberration. The Guardian, Ty and Nichols, mother describes her grief at dying son's bedside. Fears of escalating conflict as gunman injures two Israelis in East Jerusalem. The Guardian, seven shot dead in attack at Jerusalem Synagogue, BBC News. BBC News, Jerusalem Synagogue shooting, Israel arrests 42 after deadly attack. BBC, after Jerusalem attacks, cabinet to discuss expediting gun licenses for civilians. The Times of Israel, with second attack in Jerusalem, Israel's Netanyahu is under siege. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.